biggest learning and the biggest surprise has been around uh, been around people leadership, right? You know, we uh, we are a business that's growing rapidly. Uh, we are a business that whose processes and systems are behind where we are as a business. So people are working really, really hard, mm. and people get exhausted when they work really hard, mm. um, and they need to be rallied and they need to be encouraged and they need to be inspired so that uh, that task is was a surprise mm. that in in the role that i'm playing now you know i cannot see look at magnus and i cannot look at abdullah uh, and say look you guys should play that role even though they do that role but mm. i feel now this is my responsibility now mm-hmm. uh, as the ceo of the business uh, and it takes uh, it takes time. It takes thinking. Uh, it takes a lot of doing. You always have to be positive, even when you're yeah. having a bad day. And the cause effect relationship is never completely clear. <laughs> you did something inspirational. The the numbers don't change immediately. Yeah, they don't change immediately. But we have actually been pleasantly surprised that our colleague and PS strongly co- correlates with our growth numbers. Now, of course, it could be cause and effect, but you know, when we've invested in people and getting people excited, mm. we've actually seen growth happen in those markets. Okay. And when we've, where we've had leaders that have not invested enough in people, mm-hmm. we've actually seen growth over time uh, slow down. Okay. So, so there's a, a high yeah. correlation between people, motivation, excitement. And this is all levels. analytical in the sense this of is, you could just look at the numbers and, the numbers, yeah. and it's not a subjective thing. So that says that you know, this is by far the most effective sort of way that you can do it. Yeah. So we tell people now, don't drive growth. Growth mm-hmm. is an output. Mm-hmm. Drive experience for our captains and customers. That's going to bring growth. And drive engagement for your people. Huh. And that's going to drive growth. So focus on these two things and growth will happen. Huh. And we're starting to change the KPIs that we look at as well. So instead of people looking at growth rates, Mm -hmm. we're in the process of shifting to the input KPIs, which people can influence, and then the growth is an output. On the customer side, for example, experience is a function of, you know, when you open the app, is a car available? What Mm -hmm. percent of the times is a car available? Uh, What ETA do you get? Um, You know, what's the completion rate Mm -hmm. uh, of the trip? So these are experience Mm -hmm. KPIs that we look at that tell us what retention rates will be Mm -hmm. for customers on some uh, longer term basis and on the captain side similar KPIs how much time is the captain spending uh, getting paid for a trip or is he waiting or is he Mm -hmm. uh, what's the quality of customers that we're giving Mm -hmm. him which is measured by the ratings that he gives to the customers so these are the experience KPIs both for the captain and the customers and if we if we do them well then a lot of the uh, the metrics start improving and we start seeing growth Mm -hmm. uh, healthier growth happen as a result Mm -hmm. Versus just trying to see, hey, I need 10% growth tomorrow. I'm going to give a promo code that gives people 50% off yeah. for the next 10 trips. And I'll see the growth. Yeah. But as soon as that promo code is over, the growth will vanish. Right? Yeah. It's sugar high that you get in that process. Right. When, when did you shift or start shifting towards the input rather than the output metric? So in the Kareem operating system, yeah. one of the principles is um, invest in experience to get growth. And yeah. the experience is both captains, customers, and the colleague experience is the colleague engagement part. Hmm. Um, so we have at least defined a principle around it, and now we're figuring out the KPIs that we should put behind it, and then we'll start changing all the dashboards oh. uh, to focus the organization on these KPIs. Hmm. And you know, you know, I, I worked, you worked at BCG, and I was spent some time at McKinsey, and I, someone, one of our colleagues that worked with us with, with us on the OS, hmm. he asked me, do you know what McKinsey's revenue was? Hmm. You know, I was an AP at McKinsey, but I didn't know what McKinsey's revenue was. Hmm. Because this is not something that the organization spoke about ever, right? The mm. organization always spoke about other things, right? Client satisfaction, mm. repeat work from those clients. Mm. And there was a belief that if you focus on these things, then the revenue would follow, right? Yeah. But even at relatively high levels in that organization, you had no idea right. what a business was producing, right? right. Mm. So we want to start focusing people on the right KPIs, and then growth will happen.